Welcome back to the show. Now, if you don't know, I've been here for a very long time. My Arabic is not the best it can be, but how do you learn? You learn through laughing and sometimes a few words that you're not supposed to know. But <laughs> <laughs> our guests today are going to help me with that. They are the masters behind the comedic sensation, Bill Arabi, on a mission to redefine humour in the Arab-speaking community. Please welcome to the show, Mohammed and Badir. Asma, what's going on, brother? How are you, man? Thank you. Thank hey, you, lady, for having Wicked, us. Wicked, man. Good to yeah. see you, uh, Dude, I'm, I'm incredibly honored to Muhammad, be here. Man, uh, Muhammad. I've been watching you ever Muhammad. since I was a kid. Muhammad. Did it work? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> out and about. Yeah, bro. We're out and about. We are, man. We are. We're we here. Are, we are. Ali, how did you end up with this guy, man? Oh, by sheer luck. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good luck or a bad luck, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we met together in a, in a comedy workshop, actually. Mm. Uh, there was um, a Dubai-based workshop called Dubomedy, so we met uh, there. He was trying to stop being a dentist, and I was trying to not uh, lose my mind because I wasn't finding a job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's where we met. Yeah, but Ali, 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 yeah, Ali and um, Amina have yeah. done a fantastic job, yeah. man, like really building up the industry here, yeah. so it's been wonderful. Definitely our mentors, what, what, yeah. What would you say is the challenges uh, when it comes to actually doing comedy in Arabic? Um, doing comedy in Arabic, like, there is no challenges as it, to the language, but the, the challenge is, uh, is that the fact that you're in Dubai, it's a global city. Any weekend, you can have, like, Kevin Hart, Andrew Schultz, uh, Sean Chidiak. Yeah, you got to compete with this guy right here. <laughs> Walked in a year in, and he's, like, already selling out theaters. I'm so jealous. It's not even funny. Um, so yeah, that's that's the, the hard part is that people do not associate stand up with Arabic yet. It's it's mostly an English art. So that's where we're trying to like yeah, I don't want to say educate because we're not yeah. educate anybody about anything. Yeah. Uh, the name it. says what it is, man. I love that yeah. in Arabic. This is mm -hmm. what we're doing. Exactly like that. Love that, right. bro. How, love the how is the Dubai like comedy scene like growing? Like obviously you know you're doing your thing. Like how is it like being out there? And it, are you pulling in an audience? And what is the audience's feedback? How is it comparing to other international comedy scenes? It's so, been incredible. Yeah. 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 You go ahead. Please. You, you need a. You, you're the founder. Please. please. No, you're the founder. You're the founder. I will pay. No, you pay. It's an Arab situation. Like we're not arguing over the bill, guys. Just one of you talk. Let me do a. Let me do a shot. Brother, please. <laughs> also, you make fun of a Please, I make on you. Make fun of <laughs> every day. <laughs> so, uh, when we first started out seven years ago, um, when we, like, it wasn't much of a scene, uh, yeah. even English wise. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, there's incredible producers in English uh, that also came up through the time, and we've been working for all the past seven years on they're developing their nights, um, I'm developing my night. And eventually, um, event right after COVID, um, because people came out wanting entertainment, right? Yeah. And then it, it kind of took an upswing and we haven't come down from, from that upswing yet. So that's how it has evolved. Uh, I remember like performing to a crowd of two. Uh, For the fun, please. One, yeah, we had one guy with his little daughter yes. once. Uh, that was like, what, five years ago, six years ago? 2017. 2017. 2017. I mean, we just came off Dubai Opera uh, just last weekend. So like it's yeah. been a. It was the first so Arabic show I came to Opera. Mashallah. So we keep going up. We used to do it it's at a child's cafe. But it's, it's the first Arabic stand-up comedy in Dubai Opera. Yeah. We're the first Arabic group it's in Dubai Opera. Arab I Arab actually wanted. I actually wanted to ask you guys because I know like so I actually started seven years ago as well. Oh wow. So I, I've been doing it for How a while, but it took a while. I'm 27. Oh, oh okay. So you look oh, wow. younger. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It's good genes, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing it for a while, so I know how, how hectic the scene can be, especially where we have to perform. Yeah. It's not the best place. And especially that you're doing it in Arabic, some people of the culture don't really want to be in certain places that the nights are hosted. Yeah, in. obviously. So apart from that, like how what, what would you say is the best path for people who are trying to get into the Arabic scene? Because on the English side, it's a little bit easier. Like you said, mm -hmm. it is an English art, quote mm -hmm. unquote. So if you want to get into the uh, Arabic comedy scene, what would you say? And especially because in our cultures, it's like, you want to be a comedian? You are a joke already. <laughs> like, so for the, for, the, for the guys and gals who are trying to get into it in the Arabic scene, what would you advise them to do? Like, what were the steps you'd say? Definitely, um, are we allowed to do ads? Yeah. This is, it's, this is not an yeah, ad. Man. Uh, definitely hit up Boy, the Bomedy, hey, for sure. No doubt. Uh, the Bomedy is where you, you're going to learn all the basics. Um, and, and, and then some, and do a couple of shows, and see if you really want to dip your foot. And once you're ready, and you feel like, oh, I want to do this more, Dubamani puts on a ton of shows, 
and we put on a ton of shows and whatever, whoever you get in touch with, definitely welcome. Mm -hmm. But you gotta be able to, look, we are like, what, seven years into the game, we're not experts at teaching people. You can't come to me and like, oh, make me funny. But Ali Amina can do it. We're that. barely making it. <laughs> We're barely <laughs> funny right now. Barely. I want to ask you a little bit about the Arabic cultural nuances because you normally see an Iranian community. They cater to Iranians, Indian uh, comedian generally to the Indians. But then Sean has created this, this Dubai culture observational comedy, which mm, yeah. I think is so fascinating, mm -hmm. especially, you know, for us who grew up in this country. Mm -hmm. um, do you, have you considered capitalizing on that, the Dubai culture? Uh, most of my jokes are about uh, Dubai culture. Actually, yeah, most growing up in Dubai and Sharjah. Yeah, Dubai, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi. Uh, the majority of like yeah. this is where our jokes come from because it's m mostly personal stories, and we're born and raised. Yeah. So born and raised here, basically all of our jokes, whether we like it or not, mm -hmm. are about they're our inspired life. by the city actually. Yeah. So wh whoever grew up in Dubai, and comes to our show, and they would relate to the you know the stories about his school, my school, you know. How I met my wife, how he met his wife, so it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about one home? Um, <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, one ho uh, was like. Oh. You know, one ho Chung. One ho Chung. Yeah. yeah. No, but <laughs> this guy. Actually, one ho was my introduction to stand up. Ah. Yeah, it was the first time I've seen actual stand up comedy. Mm -hmm. They bring him up on stage and he's like. I don't speak Arabic, and then he starts speaking Arabic, and like you see this guy that doesn't look Arab that's speaking Arabic. So Legend, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah Incredible. Well, yeah. Ali Muhammad, I've got to say thank you so thank much you for joining us. Thank you so much. Any performances coming up quickly before? Uh... Uh, we're taking a break right now, yeah. but uh, they can follow us on our Instagram handle. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna pop on screen. Yep. Most uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the <laughs> There we go. Nice to know, see exactly. the <laughs> world of television. Yeah. Should prepare like a paper and just <laughs> oh, no. hostages. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Great. Now so much. we have got time for the spotlight for today, and it is on a comedy club showcasing the vibrant talent of Dubai's comedy scene. This is Miktad Mohadwala from the Mad Cat Comedy. My name is Miktad Mohadwala. I'm a stand up comedian and a producer based out of Dubai. I run Mad Cat Comedy, which is a local comedy community. What we do is run shows all across Dubai. We run three shows a week and we encourage local talent to get on stage and tell jokes and make people laugh. The problem Mad Cat Comedy is trying to solve, when I started it, there wasn't enough local stage time for aspiring comedians to get on stage. But over the last couple of years that we've been running Mad Cat Comedy, we've put on hundreds of shows and we've put on hundreds of local comedians on stage. They've all gotten better and they've all made hundreds and thousands of people laugh. So we're giving more stage time to people. We're allowing people to pursue their passions and in the bargain, we're getting people to laugh. Some of the major milestones that we've hit is, I remember at one point of time, we sold out about 300 tickets for a local comedy show. And that was a big number, considering these are numbers that usually international acts would sell out. But now we're at a stage where we're consistently selling 100, 150 tickets per show, which means there is a market for local stand-up comedy and people are enjoying the unique perspective that local comedians have to offer. Well, the long-term goal for Mad Cat Comedy is to be the focal point of stand-up comedy in Dubai. We want hundreds of people to get on stage, try jokes. We want hundreds of people to learn about the fact that there is a thriving comedy community in Dubai and to come watch shows and spread cheer and joy. Well, Dubai is the ideal place to run a comedy club because there's 197 nationalities here. So as from a comedian's perspective, making such a wide group of people laugh is a very difficult job. So if you train as a comedian in this country, you could potentially perform anywhere. And secondly, it is a tourist hub. Why not get into something that tourists love? Comedy all over the city. Now it's time for our roundup. Ash, what have you got for us? 
micromutic.ae, the information all digital creativity and electronic music festival is back for its third edition at the All Star Carl Avenue from the 4th to the 5th of May with an all star lineup of performers. There are more than 30 sound and visual artists expected from around the world alongside an immersive 360 degree program called Twisted Tree. The festival will also have installation and panel talks and workshops to provide creative platform. It is all happening this weekend. Will you guys be heading there? Sean, what are some of the events that typically get you excited here in the UAE? Anything to do with food? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you have a... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Your boy likes to eat. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite cuisine? Oof. I would say anything from like the this like Asian side of the world, mm -hmm. phenomenal. Like literally from Southeast Asia, Indian cuisine is one of my favorite because it's so diverse. Um, Did you have that Caribbean food? I have. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. I, I just, I'm, but the thing is, a lot of Caribbean food is influenced by Indian cuisine. So only Trinidadian food. Fair, fair, yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Trinidad and Tobago, yes, yes. Yeah, mine, mine. But you know, we talk about Jamaica. It's a different thing. You yeah. know. <laughs> I won't try. <laughs> I will try. No problem. So there's so many things happening on the show, but here's what else is coming up on today's show. Faris decided to push the hilarious Bassem Youssef out of his comfort zone, taking him around the city for an exclusive day out full of experiences. Plus, we are mastering the art of comedy with a female comedian from the region and we've got Jessica all set to perform, so stay with us.